weather could once again scrub the nation's first astronaut launch in nine years. NASA says it has a 50-50 chance of liftoff happening tomorrow for Saunders back on the Space Coast for us tonight, finding out what would happen if uh, the return to space is delayed for a second time. And for clarity, we are scrubbed for today's launch attempt. Well, Wednesday's scrub was a disappointment to everyone from the president. This is something the First Lady and I looked very much forward to seeing. To spectators. It was going to be history making. It still will. When it goes up, it still will be history making. NASA officials saying ahead of the next attempt, safety still comes first. That's despite yet another round of thunderstorms threatening postponement. We will feel no pressure. We will go when we are ready. Safety is the highest priority, and that's what we're focused on. The wind, timing, and geometry all have to be just right for astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken to reach their destination, the International Space Station. If delayed again, officials are already eyeing 3 p.m. on Sunday or potentially Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. A good scrub is better than a bad launch any day, and that's where we're at. The flight is the final test of SpaceX Crew Dragon, a commercial ship designed to one day ferry astronauts to low Earth orbit stops like the ISS. NASA then free to focus on bigger endeavors. What this allows, this partnership between the public and private and the commercialization of low Earth orbit, is you'll see these opportunities open up in the future. You're going to see a man and a woman on the moon, and eventually you'll see us on Mars. That future and the space flights tied to it on hold, however, waiting for this one to happen first. Outside Kennedy Space Center, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News. And we will bring you special live coverage tomorrow on our free streaming news channel leading up to that launch. Again, the launch window is set for 322 in the afternoon. Of course, the big caveat to it all, the weather.